I wanted to just try this place out and uh, see what I could do with it for tomorrow, but I ended up just doing a whole workout here. And uh, yeah, this, this park's pretty legit. So I'm at the bus station here in Cancun. I was supposed to take an 11.30 bus that actually doesn't exist. It's online, you can buy it online. It's 11.30 for sure. And uh, I got here and they're like, no, it's 12.50. You have to wait an hour. So I'm just waiting here, but I'm gonna go get a drink nearby at a park that has Wi-Fi. So I just left Cariocos, which was a beach club. They advertised Wi-Fi. It was, uh, was Wi-Fi, but it wasn't wasn't very good um, so I wasn't able to do much work on online at least but I was able to check some things and uh, at least they let me charge my computer I was charging my phone had a, a pina colada by the beach so that was cool it started raining and I was also protected by one of these uh, one of these umbrellas so it's all good um, I'm gonna go back to the hostel now drop my stuff maybe get their their Wi-Fi is actually a little bit better than what I just paid for. So I'm gonna try and uh, upload some things, Dropbox, um, free up some space on my phone, and uh, figure out what I'm doing next. I really wanted to see the bioluminescence, which is algae that glows in the dark, um, but you can only see it when the moon's not out, and it's a full moon right now, of course, for the entire time that I'm in Obash. It's uh, gonna be way too bright to see, but the guy said maybe on Saturday before I leave, so maybe on Saturday night. I can see it, uh, but I'm definitely not paying for the tour because I looked up um, from a cafe, from one of the cafes here by the beach, you can see it perfectly and just go by yourself. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that if I'm able to. So far the hostel's pretty disappointing. It got really good reviews and uh, it was, it's known for like being the party hostel and like the place to be, but last night nobody did anything. Um, there was, we had a free drink, which was cool. There was a, an Argentinian barbecue that they put on. So it was like 190 pesos, which is okay if it's all you can eat, which is what they said, but it wasn't all you can eat. They just kind of, first of all, they took forever. So like they would bring out a uh, salad and then they would bring out potatoes, but it was like a lag of like 15 minutes. So we would each get, there were like seven of us at the table. So we would each get a little bit. It was just like a little snack here and there. And then uh, they were passing around like pieces of chorizo and pieces of ribs and chicken and stuff but it was definitely there were like I would say a good 75 of us the food was good but the organization was not which is fine but it definitely wasn't all you can eat so I was def definitely disappointed with that so I'm not gonna eat at the hostel anymore I'll just go out one good thing about the hostel is that it has air conditioning so it's definitely definitely the the highlight of the, the hostel because it's so humid here um, and I'm just sweating all day but uh, yeah the food was not what I thought it would be um, the party is not what I thought it would be although I'm not here to really party I'm just chilling um, the people here are really nice so when you go to the stores or the restaurants not a lot of them speak I would say half and half like some have some speak English some don't speak any which is fine because they're all really nice so yeah, and the people you see in the streets will say hi. So I really like the vibe here. It's like a cool beach town. But I just worked for like five hours in that cafe. The internet was not good at all, but it was significantly better than what I found in other places. Um, so now I'm gonna have some street food. Night's, nightlife is kind of starting now. Um, I'm gonna have some street food. So some uh, corn, some like, uh, this thing is like a kind of like a French crepe kind of dessert. Um, then I'll probably get some real food at a restaurant. So the hostel had breakfast available for us. It was, it would have been good had they had something covering the food, but I didn't eat most of it just because there were flies everywhere. Um, there was like ham, cheese, bread, some fruit, um, and then hard-boiled eggs. So I took four hard-boiled eggs and papaya, but I only took the papaya because they had just put it out. So I, uh, I took that and I got, uh, I just filled up my water with, uh, they had some water with watermelon in it, and I just filled up my bottles. And that was a good breakfast. So pretty much 
I'm just doing protein and fat and then avoiding carbs as long as I can because I want to be able to enjoy myself later on in the day. Right now I'm headed to the, to the gym and uh, it's the only gym on the island actually. So I'm check it out. park on the way to the gym it's uh it's about five minutes from the host the hostel and uh there's actually some bars that i could do some pull-ups or something with i don't know about the ropes but i'm gonna try and work out for a little bit um then head into the gym to see what's like So I didn't even make it to the gym actually. This, I wanted to just try this place out and uh, see what I could do with it for tomorrow, but I ended up just doing a whole workout here and uh, it was actually pretty good. It's hot and humid outside. There's a little bit of a breeze. So yeah, I'm sweating and out of breath. And yeah, it was actually, I feel like it was a little bit of cardio too, <laughs> just cause I was trying to film a bunch of things and I didn't really take a break in between. But uh, yeah, this, this park's pretty legit. What's cool about the island is that they try really hard to recycle and pick up all the litter and, and make sure that the island stays clean. There are tons of uh, recycle, recycle bins like this one. And you rarely see things on the, on the ground, so that's cool that everyone is doing their part to keep it clean. Um, even if you want to own any property here, if you want to buy a house or or uh, build anything, you have to have special permission from the government. So even, even if uh, you're ready to pay, they're not necessarily gonna let you because if you're gonna pollute the island or if you're gonna make uh, like tons of, I don't know. If you're just gonna like pollute the island in any way, they wanna make sure that everything stays clean and green and, uh, and that's cool. Headed to a restaurant where there's apparently an all you can eat Actually, I don't think it's all you can eat. I think it's a, a pl seafood platter for two, which obviously I'm gonna get for myself. Yeah, so we'll see how that is. I just found this restaurant that doesn't have a menu because everything's so fresh. It's beachfront, Wi-Fi, and in this really cool location. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try it tomorrow, probably tomorrow night for dinner. It's called, uh, El Chapulim. My Spanish, as we all know, is horrible, so I don't know if that's really how you spell it, how you say it, but yeah, I'm gonna try it out tomorrow. So it's my last day in Holbosch. Yesterday I, I lost a whole day because I was having, I had a fever and I was just aching all over the place. I felt like I, I had the flu. It was crazy. I was sweating, I was freezing at the same time. So I just, uh, I slept until, well, I woke up at at like eight, uh, went back to sleep, woke up at 10, had to go back to sleep again. I didn't get up till three, and then uh, my room was so hot that I, I had to go outside, and I just laid by the pool. So actually it was cooler outside than it was in my room. Um, and I slept on the, on the pool chair till like five. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just felt horrible the whole day, so I didn't do anything. Um, we went out to dinner to this place called El Chapulin. Um, it doesn't have a menu. And uh, just because the food's really fresh, so they just make a, a different item every day. So that was actually cool. But um, that's the only thing that I got to do. And right now, I'm, uh, it's my last day, so I'm gonna have uh, traditional Mexican breakfast at this place called uh, uh, Lemon. Actually, I don't remember the name. <laughs> um, but uh, it's, it looks good. And um, I'm gonna try and make it to the gym. I'm just gonna do quick workout 
um, take it easy. But I, I want to check out this gym. It's the only one on the island and it looks cool. So I have a ferry at 2.45 bus to Playa del Carmen after that. And uh, yeah, we'll see where that takes us. Just got done at the gym. Got a pretty good workout. I didn't go too hard because because I was sick yesterday. So did a lot of volume, low weight, high rep kind of stuff. Did a leg day, even in my sandals. It was pretty, it was actually pretty easy. So I did, uh, I just did a couple, uh, I did some squats. I did leg curl and uh, just some calf raises. The owner of the gym was really cool, super friendly guy. Talked to me for a long time. Um, the the prices were really fair actually. I, I paid 50 pesos for a day pass and uh, 30 for I got a I got a Powerade or a Gatorade. So all all in I paid 80 dollars or sorry 80 pesos, which is 20 less than I paid for guacamole this morning. So super cheap. Uh, really cool bodybuilding gym old school machines, um, just really, really cool vibe. I really enjoyed it and I'm glad that I got to make, that I made it there today, even though I wasn't feeling 100%. Glad I at least got to do something today and get a little bit of workout in. Um, but I'm heading to the hostel now. I'm gonna leave in about an hour to Playa del Carmen. So remember I said I lost 200 Canadian dollars the first day? I, uh, I lost my gym shoes also, so with the gym shoes, it wouldn't be wouldn't have been so bad if it were just the shoes. But I remember that I put uh, two thousand pesos you know, under the soles of my gym shoes, just just so that I would have. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. So I lost the shoes. Uh, luckily, I took five hundred out before, but yeah, I lost fifteen hundred pesos because they were in my shoes. That's uh, what is that like? Almost two hundred dollars. So basically, I've lost four hundred dollars just gone so super good uh, first week but uh, yeah it could have been worse <laughs> 